What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I'm not sure if y'all been seeing this on social media uh, like I have, but lately, LA Knight has been getting a lot of unfair criticism from um, just the wrestling, like the wrestling community out of nowhere. Like it's, it's really kind of weird and, and random. And I wanna show y'all a tweet that I put out talking about this random hate that LA Knight has been getting as of late. And it actually kind of got a, a lot of discussion on my on my Twitter, which led me to believe that there may be some truth to what I've been seeing on my timeline personally of just the random hate for LA Knight all of a sudden. Let me show y'all this, man. This is on my Twitter. And I tweeted, I've been seeing a lot of LA Knight hate come out of nowhere. Like people actually rooting for his downfall. Some of y'all wrestling fans are legit weird. And it was, you know, it, it caused a lot of discussions under that particular tweet. It, it was kind of going crazy for my page at that time, which lead me to believe that there are some truth to what I've been seeing. Um, and it's not just, I maybe saw one person that's not a fan of LA Knight. I've been seeing just multiple people just pretty much hopping on that. Oh, LA Knight is overrated train. LA Knight is not that over anymore. The LA Knight, yeah, chance. Uh, it's it's not getting it's not as popular as it once was. And I'm just confused because anytime he ever comes up, like comes out on SmackDown or at any show, really, he gets a very loud ovation. And he gets a very loud yeah chant when he's punching people and kicking people and stomping on people. Even when other wrestlers mention him, he gets a loud yeah. So I'm very confused on what's going on there. Now, you can say maybe it's because the return of CM Punk, you know, the, the, the hype and attention has kind of shifted towards him. Also, The Rock mentioning certain things about him wanting to fight Roman Reigns. The attention is now... Uh, kind of some of the attention is kind of motion towards the rock as well you can say that but he's still one of the top guys in the company so i'm confused on where this notion that he's he's falling off like he's still not over i'm confused on that i i really am now i have heard some people even when you know his you know his stock started rising that people wanted to compare him to the stone colds of the world and the rocks of the world and yes there are there are some comparisons there of course but once again that's wrestling and it's not like he's just actively ripping off on the uh, like ripping off these characters if anything he's is more or less paying homage to them and it's like he's still himself He's not just doing the one-liners to just purposely copy The Rock when most wrestlers have done one-liners and have catchphrases and, and talk about themselves in the third person. Like, that's not nothing new. And if we're going to go with that logic, then some of your favorite wrestlers, you should look at them a different way. Like Hulk Hogan for a lot of people, like Ric Flair for a lot of people, even Stone Cold and The Rock, they've gotten some parts of their personality and their traits from other wrestlers. So, and, and I think for LA Knight, he 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 has that mold of the old school wrestlers, like the attitude era type wrestler, that archetype. And if that's the case, if it's just so egregious, no one would like it. But it's gotten over. I'm I want y'all to understand. People that watched him on a in the independent scene, people that watched him in other companies, people that watched him in NXT, they knew what he was about. When he came to the main roster, Vince McMahon had him as one of the managers. He wasn't even an active wrestler, just a manager for the maximum male models. Like he was DOA. He was about to get featured endeavor. No one cared. But once Triple H shed that gimmick of him and let him be himself, that's when people start to catch on. That's when people started to actually, okay, I'm starting to like this guy. When you're able to get the casual fan to buy into you, you won. It's simple. The same thing with Daniel Bryan. When uh, his rise started, his stock started to rise up. 
the casual fans started to get behind him. Of course, the hardcore fans knew about him and, and what he's all about, and they wanted WWE to treat him right. But the, once the casual fan got behind him, he was he was a made man. So the same thing here. So if he's not over, why is he still at the top of the card still? Why is he not? Why is he in a match? Pretty much a main event match with Randy Orton with AJ Styles. And also you got to put in Randy Orton coming back may have taken a little bit of hype away from him. But once again, there's nothing wrong with that when you have multiple top guys and he's in the main event of Royal Rumble with these top guys. So I'm confused on the notion that he's not over. I'm confused on the notion that he's washed, that he's trash, that the, the LA Knight experience, experience, it's over, the hype train is over. No, it's not. Stop it. Well, I don't get it. I, I actively remember for the Money in the Bank last year how every single person damn near in the wrestling community was ready to put the Money in the Bank on LA Knight. And people were mad that they didn't do it and they felt like Triple H dropped the ball. I was one of the people, I, I wasn't tripping that he didn't get it because I felt like at some point they're going to give him that moment. They could have hot shot booked it and gave it to him and seen what happened. But at the same time, it kind of worked out that that didn't happen because we all knew he wasn't going to be Roman. But take that out of the equation. I just remember there were so many people talking about, oh, he needs to win. Oh, he needs to win. I didn't really see any, any type of hate that he's getting now. I didn't see nobody on Twitter talking about, oh, I wish he fails. Like, I'm starting to see pockets of weird wrestling fans say that now. I've seen the tweets of people wishing he fails. That's so weird. Like Daniel Bryan said, wrestling fans can be fickle. It makes no sense. And I get it. Not everybody's meant to like someone forever and ever. That's fine. If you don't want to, that's fine. But wishing, like, a man to not succeed because you don't feel that he's over anymore. You feel like he's a ripoff or whatever the case is. It's kind of cringe. Making Trying to make other people feel lame because they like LA Knight. Oh, people are just... They're just sheep. They follow other people. Well, of course, people are going to follow what's popular. But at the same time, no one's forcing anyone to cheer for anybody. So to try to downplay everyone else that obviously feels like he's still over is lame, too. Like, I don't know. It's just it's very weird how the wrestling community can be sometimes. Granted, there's still a lot of people that show showing love and support. And that's I think that's going to continue on. I do feel like they're going to have something, a, a, a good program with him versus Logan Paul for the United States Championship. And I do think he's going to get his first major championship this year, hopefully at WrestleMania, against Logan Paul for the United States Championship. And I think it's going to be a great moment. I don't see people in Philly at this year's WrestleMania booing this guy. When his music hits and he comes out there and he's on that show, and he has that match potentially with Logan Paul for that championship, the United States Championship, I do feel like the crowd is going to go crazy. He's probably going to get one of the biggest reactions. That's how over he is. He didn't even get a chance to show up to WrestleMania last year. So stop it, guys. I don't know where that's coming from. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, but wishing real hate on this guy or, or really wishing his downfall is some of the weirdest, lamest shit of all time, in my personal opinion. I think the guy is in the right position right now, still at the top of the card, still one of the people uh, that a lot of fans want to see, and he's one of the highlights of SmackDown. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get where the hate's coming from. Comment down below, let me know, have y'all seen the weird LA Night hate train? Because I've been seeing it more and more every week Someone says something disparaging, uh, disparagingly about him out of nowhere, really. Like, it's, it's just one of those type of things where I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know if it's just a weird trend that some of the wrestling fans are, you know, trying to, to you know, get, get moving. I'm not sure. But let me know if y'all have seen it as well, because I'm starting to see a lot more of it pop up 
on my timeline personally i think it's kind of lame but i appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel roll to 150k and i'm still on speedy youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking in with me see y'all next one peace